to LaGuardia for dogs learning to be canine companions. Fox 5's Arthur Chan was there at the service as the service animals rather learned how to navigate the airport. For most of us, when we go flying, the logistics are limited to what? Getting to the airport on time, making sure your carry-on fits overhead. But for a significant population that's disabled that uses service dogs, it's an entirely different game. And there's something interesting happening here to even out that game. You could say the TSA has gone to the dogs, or you could ask who let the dogs out at LaGuardia. Once we got over the puns and all the cuteness today, we started learning about a humanitarian national organization called Canine Companions and why they were training service dogs at the airport. Having a dog that's well adapted um, and able to fly is a major thing. Some of our clients fly a lot, so uh, being able to go onto a plane and not worry about the dog that it's going to freak out or be stressed out. About 10 dogs, all under a year old, were on hand to undergo air travel training. First going through the TSA, then adapting to waiting at a gate, then boarding a plane and curling up. The idea to get them ready to service a disabled population who needs to travel. When the dogs are finally placed with the disabled person, the dog has to feel comfortable going anywhere. Um, so this is a big advantage to be able to practice going on an airplane. Six-time volunteer Carol is one of the essential parts of this equation. Odetta, her dog, will be trained for a year and a half and learn 50 commands before graduating. It must be so painful when you have to give up these dogs, but what, what motivates you to do this over and over again? Once you meet the people who are the recipients of this dog, it is very easy to give them up because they mean more to the disabled people than they could ever mean to me. There's a huge story financially here. To train one of these dogs fully, it takes up to $50,000. But this group, they're doing it completely on a volunteer basis. And when they're done training the dog, they give it to the person for free. So really, in this kind of a construct today, everybody does win. At LaGuardia Airport, Arthur Chan, Fox 5 News. President